Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to take a look at some of the gear I bring out on any kind of overland trip or even just a weekend camping trip. Oh man, the lighting's wrong for full flex. So, when you have a truck like the Moose, sometimes you got to clear some trails. So, this little Milwaukee... Alright, so for starters, I'll kind of show you guys, I got a lot of the gear laid out behind me here. Um, but one good thing that you can find that's way more detailed than this little video is going to be, is any kind of overland or camping packing list. The one that I use the most is the one here from New Holland Overland. You can see I kind of have like the things that I always bring out highlighted. And then this one, for example, has like a nice little note section for like other items and whatnot. So let's get into this of course from time to time you'll find new products or better products than the ones that you had so you'll add that to your kit or different things change for example right now i do not have my rooftop tent on the truck because i sold that in preparation to one i'm going to waterproof the living crap out of my topper and then two i'm going to be getting a new rooftop tent very soon but one thing that remains the same is i like to use a lot of hard cases I started off just kind of throwing myself in a tote and then I evolved to using those Plano Sportsman's trunks. And I do still use a lot of those, but not for camping. I'll use those for like range bins or hunting bins, you know, things of that sort. Now what I have started to do is use the Milwaukee Packout system. As you can see around me here, I have quite a lot of their products. I'm a big Milwaukee fan and I really, really like the Packout system. There's a ton of different things that you can do with them. I have panels that are built into my truck that I can mount different things to. Of course, like all these different things around me. And one nice feature is because I now have a topper and I have a lot of space to got up, you know, before I had the Rebel. So I just had the uh, Diamondback flat cover. So really you can only slide like one bin on, but with a topper I could probably stack like three of those Plano bins if I wanted to, you know, but there's not a good way of keeping all that secure from falling over. So with the packout system that allows me to kind of have everything I need to and stack it vertically. So let's check out some of the stuff that I bring with me. You always got to bring your furry friends when you go out camping with you to keep you warm protection and just to keep you company, all that fun stuff. For a, I guess you could call a base layer is this really big Milwaukee packout tote or crate, whichever you want to call it. Now, one thing that's nice about this is some of these like smaller boxes here, I can stack one of those here, and then one of those here. And I used to have that box and then this one, this is kind of like my kitchen stuff, um, both stacked up here. Then I could also put stuff on top of that or what have you. And of course it's just slide. I don't know if you can configure these all kinds of different ways. But this one does have some wheels on it, and then it does have this kind of nice little handle that you can extend. So this is really nice for, I can set this way deep in the truck, and then kind of just reach up, grab this, pull it out. And all these packout boxes are pretty weatherproof. I did bring these on a trip to the UP, and it was very dusty, it rained, and everything inside was dry, dust-free. And that goes for like pretty much all these pack up boxes. I think I had like three of them. But these pretty much have two latches here. Now these are lockable, so you can just throw this in the bed of your truck, but because I have the top right, I don't need to worry about that. And then that top just kind of stay open, which is cool. Now in here, I kind of have this more geared for winter camping at the moment. And the reason I'm doing this video is next week, I'll be releasing a, what do I bring winter camping with me, so. Looks like this flashlight just got turned on somehow, but basically this big bin will come with this kind of toolbox, I guess you could say, a little tool crate. So I just have a bunch of little miscellaneous things in here, some TP, chem lights for marking like campsites, some different lights, camp lighting, all that fun stuff, some fire starters. This is a little um, thing for, you know, goes on the little Coleman things to make it like a torch. And then I guess I could probably take these out because it's not the season anymore, but one of these um, 
thermocells with some of the extra supplies, some more camp lighting, some straps, all that fun stuff. So down in here, I do have a bag of stakes. Now, when I had like the awning or the annex out, all of my stakes were in here. So that made that kind of nice, keep that all together. This is one of these little daisy chain kits, I guess. So I usually use these up inside the tent for like drying things out. Or if it's really cold and you deploy like the annex, like I usually do when I go winter camping, this is really nice to just hang stuff up and get it out of the way and off the ground. Next up is a med kit. Um, I do have multiple medical sources throughout the vehicle, but this is one that I'll just kind of keep in here and then I'll usually set this one out at camp out in the open. So if anybody did need to grab us and use it, we could. Again, bug spray, not really the season for it, but always nice to have. Just some little spouts for, you know, any kind of things that I need to fuel, def, really anything. I do keep a couple of little Coleman one pounder tanks in here, as well as my buddy heater, Mr. Heater Buddy, whatever you call these guys. Do have a little fan in here now. Obviously in the summertime, this is kind of cool off, but in the wintertime, you can actually hook us up with a buddy heater to kind of move some heat around like your tent or annex or whatever. And I do keep a rain, a rag with some bar and chain oil for the chainsaws that I'll show you a little later on. And this guy is kind of like a awning that you can just take out and strap on to pretty much whatever. It's got like poles and all that good stuff in here. I haven't really used this much, but it is kind of a nice thing. I think it'll come in a lot handier when I do eventually get a roof rack on the truck. And then I do have a bunch of airlines for the compressor that I bring. Hello tank. And then here I do have a little 12 volt um, heated blanket. This is really nice for just like throwing in your sleeping bag before you get in it at night, or, you know, just if you're driving along, wife gets cold or whoever, you can plug it in and throw it on. And of course, like I said, I do kind of have this set up for winter camping, but as I go, the more stuff I can add in here, this bin space is huge. So at one point I had like a Coleman uh, grill in here, but, since I don't quite use that anymore, uh, kind of gotten away from that. But usually I'll have a jet boil in here also. Next, of course, is water. This is some of the uh, just NATO style water cans. Um, I have another one that has a spot on it too. I do like the, I used to have one of those old, I think it's a Coleman series. You can just get them at like Walmart. It has a spigot little built into it, which is pretty sweet, but this just kind of works well for me. I like how it's more narrow and vertical, so, you know, utilize more space in the truck. Next thing, of course, got to have a good camping chair. This is the GCI Rocker. I've had this thing for a couple years now and I absolutely love it. Be power, so this is the big guy, the Rock Pal. I think it's like a thousand watt or whatever. Um, been using this for a little while. This thing's really sweet. It hasn't really died up on me. When it gets too cold like anything else, I have had a little bit of issues with this, but it does have all kinds of accessories on here or all kinds of different plug-in options, I should say. I used to have this little guy, um, but just being a 330 watt, it was good for charging like drone batteries or the heated blanket and stuff like that, but I can, I can run like fridges and stuff off this guy. Now, kind of going along that Milwaukee line, I do carry two different chainsaws. Now this little, this is an M12, so they're smaller batteries. Um, six inch hatchet. This guy stays in the truck with me all the time. This is great for like delimbing or just cutting up firewood at camp and you know, just little stuff you need to chainsaw for. And then I do have the bigger guy here. This is the M18. Um, I believe it has a 16 inch bar on it. Now, this is really good for like clearing trails or cutting up bigger fire logs for camp. And yeah, chainsaws are kind of crucial, especially when you have a big truck and drive along a little bunch of little trails. And this is just my camera box here. I usually bring that the drone cause you know, doing the whole YouTube thing, pictures, all that fun stuff. And then this guy is my big Cabela's Outfitter series, like a negative 20 degree sleeping bag. Um, 
This thing is stupid warm. I've used this when it's gotten like single digits and keeps me nice and toasty on the inside. And of course, with the heated blanket I keep in there, you can keep this nice and toasty for you. Then usually I'll throw like just a pillow from home in here and uh, chuck it in the back of the truck. Next up is the M18 two gallon air compressor. This is what I use for airing up my tires. Now, I have used this and it's not the best option out there. The thing I like about this the most, I would say, is that it's pretty portable. So I do have, I wanna say it's like 50 foot of airline that I can, usually I'll put, put this compressor like the front of the truck, do those two tires, move it around to the back, do those two tires. Uh, it doesn't take too terribly long, but of course, because I run 40s, uh, the amount of air that it takes, usually I gotta pump them up to what I usually run, wait for like a couple minutes, do another tire, couple, wait a couple minutes, do another tire, and so on and so forth. So because right now I don't have a rooftop ton on the truck, but usually when I did, this is just some cheap old leveling blocks that I got at Wally World, and they are kind of dented a little bit from use, but filled up pretty well. So if you're a dog lover like me, this is a little bag I got off Amazon from, yeah, these dudes. And this is really nice because I kind of found myself forgetting the dog's food and stuff like that on trips. So they would get spoiled having to eat people food. And it does kind of come with these two little bowls. Now, obviously when I bring like Tank and Gunner, I don't usually utilize these because they're pretty tiny. And those dogs are big. Yeah, see, he knows. Is that where all your food goes? So on the back here, it does have a nice little kind of mat that you can use. Um, again, I don't really, I have this little thing, which is good for like when I bring Ram or some of those smaller dogs, or just putting some water and I don't want a ton of uh, stuff getting wasted. But they do also come with two of these little size bags. Now, again, this is like two days, not even worth of food for tank. So I usually find myself filling these up and putting food in like a bag and bring it to her. Yeah, you already ate today, buddy. And of course, just all the middle miscellaneous things in here, a little dog medical kit, leashes, treats, um, some stuff for like bugs and all that fun stuff. But it does have this little divider you can take out and you know, use your imagination. So this is nice. So usually this is on my list. So that way when I do go camping, I can fill up and make sure the dogs have everything that they need. Now I have two different size fridges there. That is a small one, which is good for like weekend trips. And then I have my big guy for kind of more longer trips or if I'm gonna be gone for like a week or whatever. I try to not use the big one because I feel like I never really utilize all the space. So what I've kind of been doing is taking that little guy and then like a small cooler. Now, because it is winter time and it's pretty cold here, I don't bring either of these. I just usually bring like a Yeti cooler or some of like the smaller ones that I have. But uh, yeah, fridges are awesome. And this is like a pack out large size box. And this kind of has all of my kitchen stuff in it. I'm not gonna get too crazy into depth here, but all my little kitchen goodies. And there's that jet boil. That makes sense why it's in here though. So yeah, that's what I kind of keep in here. Then like I said earlier, nice thing about these pack up boxes, is they have all these little grooves and such. So I can lock them in and stack stuff. So that's just kind of a general overview of some of the stuff that I bring camping with me. Now again, all depends on where I'm going, how many people I'm bringing, how many dogs I'm bringing, because Tank has been my go-to this past year for all of my trips. Say hi, buddy. And uh, he's not a small guy. And I usually do have him up in the rooftop tent with me. So when I go on my next trip here, I think it's next weekend, um, I will be in a ground tent. So. I didn't have that on my little list because I have to go dig that out of my shed. And uh, yeah, you're gonna keep me nice and warm. I should probably stop dropping my phone. Um, other little items, obviously like food and stuff like that. Um, I usually have a another little Milwaukee bin. I don't know where it went, but I put like all my soft, well, hard goods, hard foods, I don't know, like 
bags of chips and breads and all that kind of stuff that you wouldn't put in a cooler. I'll put them in that little thing. I mean, it's just a little bin, but you know, of course it's Milwaukee because it's the way I am. <laughs> So if you guys have any questions about some of the stuff in particular next week, I think right now it's like the week before Christmas. So next week I will be doing a, what I bring winter camping, winter specifically camping. It won't be an in-depth video like this. So uh, if you are curious to uh, that little weekend getaway that I'm about to go on next week, you can check that video out next week, probably like next Friday. I'm trying to do videos like every Friday now. so. We'll see how far I can get with that before uh, I start running out of ideas. So if you do have any ideas or do have anything you'd like to see in particular or any kind of questions like that, you can always hit me up on the different social media things, comment down here on YouTube. Um, pretty open about stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you guys on this one. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. We'll get you guys the next one.